$300 before 10 a.m. Maybe we can get the $300 for that. I got my first roadie gig, y'all. You know the whole story, what I had to do and everybody doubted me. Let's turn the other apps on yeah. and get this money. Hello, beautiful people. And also the mildly attractive one. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is... Hey, I'm C. And welcome to She Gigs It. On this channel, I make videos about gig economy work. And now I find myself as a full-time gigger, gig app, app, gig. Whatever you want to call it, I'm going to use these apps to get this money. So, come on in, give me a like and subscribe, and check me out on my journey. Let's get this money. It is Monday. No, 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 no. I mean... Good morning and grand rising. Happy Vlogmas Day. We here at Sam's, but this wasn't my first order. Let me take you back to the beginning. It's about 6.23 a.m. The order says pick up by 6.27. Hopefully it's ready. It doesn't look like it. I can see the shelf from out here. It does not look like it's ready. But early in the morning. What can you expect? Oh my God, this cup is ready, ladies. <laughs> Got the Denny's order picked up. We're on the way to drop it off. It's five minutes away. And before we pulled out the parking lot, a Sparks order came through $49, three stops. Hey, we're going to knock it out to get this morning off to a jump start. So this is what I call late. The pickup is 7 a.m. It's 6.31. So after we drop off this Denny's order, we're going to take another small mile order. And it doesn't have to be a $10 plus order. It's just something to fit in that time where we can make a couple of extra dollars before we go pick up this Sparks order. That's what I call layering. Kind of like dirty multi-apping, but you got the time pushing to do it. So, do it. Okay, perfect. We got a DoorDash McDonald's order for $5 going three miles. This is going to slide in that pocket of time right before we go get this Sam's delivery. Let's get it. Moving on. Move out the way. Gotta get him going. Body slim thick. Can't put it on. It's your law. Still putting on. Still putting on for the things that you didn't. Still making moves. Know you wish you could diss me. Still blow a bag and caught me a Bentley. Know you regretting the way that you did me. Life is so sweet at all. It is 6.55 a.m. We have a 7 a.m. pickup. We are one minute away from the drop off from the McDonald's order we just picked up. So we're going to get that dropped off and we're going to burn up this road to get back up to the Sam's Club. It's a hand it to me at a daycare, so they should be waiting. They hungry. And we are on the way to Sam's Club to get this pick up with three drops. Okay, we starting to get some light out now. I cut through Old Washington Road to, to cut down a little further without running to um, the little traffic from 301. We're about 
two minutes away, got a few more lights to get through. And then we're there at 7.04, so we should be there by 7.06. That brings us here at Sam's Club. This is our third order of the day. We're trying to hit $100 before 10 a.m. Maybe we can get to $300 today. You never know. But we're going to try, ain't we? <laughs> okay, let's get it. And it is, I, I was at the light at 707. <laughs> but that's not too bad. Let me see, confirm my arrival. And I am on space number number one so two small orders one medium size order not bad one is going to brian's road and the other two are going to fort washington not a bad trip at all i'm not complaining so it's about three cars out here waiting they were before me so they're gonna get this stuff before me i'm sure but i'm sure they'll have it together pretty fast if not then it's an extra couple of dollars for me See, prime example, prime example why you have to check your directions before you get on the road. This GPS has me making a right on Indian Head Highway, going down 4.4 miles, then making a U-turn, then coming back up Indian Head Highway instead of just making a lap at the turn off on Indian Head Highway. See, that's why you got to check it because I know these roads. I know where I'm going. That doesn't make sense. I haven't been down here before. This is a new road for me to travel. in my back on that order so after I finish dropping these other two off I'm gonna go give me some pain meds go ahead sweetie cross the street go ahead go ahead go ahead gotta let these kids cross the street without fearing you're gonna run them over I've been hit by a car I mean actually like hit not in the car and a car hit my car I mean actually hit by a car it ain't pretty. Let them babies cross the street. Let people cross the street. Drivers are so mean to pedestrians. Look at that squirrel in the middle of the street. Why are you in the middle of the street, squirrel? Get out of here. The sun is stunning me. Oh, my back.
last one and we're going to get last one then we're going to get some masks oh chai okay Ooh, three minutes away great he's driving oh we're right around the corner even better Ooh, 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 ooh. Delivered to the wrong place before. I've been down to think the GPS said they died and the GPS was still going. And I'm at the wrong house putting the stuff down. And then I realized the GPS hasn't said I was there. Parked in front of somebody's house, especially with townhouses, and then went to the wrong door. Always nervous and paranoid that I'm dropping off to the wrong house. So what I do is I find the address when I'm pulling up. I confirm it several times as I'm doing a delivery just to reassure myself. Oh my back. I was able to correct my mistake before the customer <laughs> saw that I delivered it to the wrong house. So I check it before I pull up. I check it once I pull up and then I check it again after I put the items down. Oh my back. <laughs> I make sure because <laughs> those fives and those threes depending on what kind of script is in do favor they do I try before I leave the residence to make sure and since that last address did not have it did not have an address on the physical house I had to check the house before and the house after to make sure it was the right sequence because it could skip sequence you just never know Okay, so we're in Fort Washington right now, and we're going to run up in this Dollar General and get some ibuprofen for my back so we can keep pushing through this day. Sparks, send me another order. What y'all got, Sparks? Okay, that's in Clinton. Nope, not going to Clinton. Mm-mm. Won't do it. Don't know. I need a store that's open now. Okay. They still sending me Clinton orders. Nope. Okay. Whew. Okay, I'm just gonna tough it out to get back to Waldorf because the orders are coming in, the Clinton orders, and I don't want to get stuck on Clinton's algorithm because, oh boy. They have been known to keep me pegged for Clinton then I won't get any orders for the nearby stores because I guess Clinton be pumping them orders out and they don't have enough drivers so they branching out to get people a little further away but I don't want Clinton because they're going to try to send you to Southeast and I'm not going to deliver a Southeast I'm not playing in that traffic I'm not doing those apartment buildings I'm not doing the, it ain't no parking, so, wait a minute, it's my turn, honey, just hold on. I'm not doing the, it ain't nowhere to park, so you got to circle the block three, four times. I'm not doing all of that. No. With Amazon Flex, you kind of get stuck with that because you don't know where you're delivering it to. But if I got a choice, I'm not going to choose it. Whew. Okay, let's speed race on back down south so I can get some pain medication and get some relief and then get back to this money. I got my first roadie gig y'all so we on the way right now to CVS. The first bid that I put in they rejected it. It was an order that was similar that was further away and I grabbed it. I put an offer and they accepted it so I am on my way to pick that up quick fast and in a hurry and then I'm going to work on that side of town because it was only a five it was like a five mile trip so hopefully I'll be in and out but this is my first roadie 
and I see they had a couple of other orders. I'm going to CVS to pick it up. It's a prescription pickup. And they had several other ones around as I was checking into them for the same time. So I'm guessing that's when um, prescription orders start rolling out. So I'm wondering if that every hour like that. Because it was 9.15 pickup. Delivered by, I think, 9.35, something like that. But um, we on the way, it's down in White Plains, CVS and White Plains, it's right off of 301. So um, once I hit 301, it's a straight shot down. So let's see what Rody talking about, y'all. Why you get in front of me to slow down? That was stupid. You should have just let me go and went after me if you wanted to go slow. I mean, I'm going slow, but you're going even slower. This kind of works out perfectly because I needed to get some ibuprofen anyway. And I'm rather early for the delivery. So, I'm going to get some ibuprofen before I pick up the prescription order. What's that? Mm, wait a minute. It's a push button on there. <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> okay, so ibuprofen got it okay let's get to the register and scan right it back. now enter phone number and I'm of course I'm gonna use my coupon look how low of what they're telling you that. your total is two two a fifty-nine. please select <laughs> oh I got some more coupons <laughs> okay so let me get back to this pharmacy and I got in line for the pickups and I was informed after I got to the front of the line that I had to go to the drop-off line. So now I'm in the drop-off line waiting to be seen. And once she got to me, you know, she just got the prescription right away. And the directions say to scan it. And it says take a picture. Does that mean before or after the delivery? I'm not sure. I'm a little confused. Okay. So take the picture. Okay. So when you're picking up the delivery you take the picture when you pick it up okay cool okay they oh. said we supposed to be there by my by 9 19 but the gps is saying we're not gonna be there to 9 20. oh boy oh my back all right. All right. All right, you got this. You got this. Woo! Really birds. Oh boy. Okay. I completed my first roadie. Yay! Now, I did not have a signal when I got to the floor. It was on the, oh my God. It was on the second floor. I didn't have a signal, so I had already put the prescription down. So I had to pick it back up and take it with me because I didn't want them to take it and I not finish verifying. So I took it with me, came back down outside of the building to catch a signal got the signal i had to scan it again and then i had to say where i was leaving it which was at the door move bird and then i had to take a picture so once i got to that screen i knew the signal was to go all i had to do was take the picture so i'm running back up the steps slip and fall on the steps I'm like, I hope the customer ain't, you know, but behind the door watching all this action or recording me to post it online, me falling up the steps. <laughs> but I got it done. First roadie in the bag. Okay, so let's turn the other apps on and get this money. We didn't make our goal $100 before 10 a.m., but that's okay. We still gonna make it. Grab me something to eat. Next up, we got an IHOP order for ten dollars and twenty-five cents, going four point seven miles.
you doing? I'm doing good in you. Picking up for Latasha G. Uh-huh. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I hop is picked up. We're going 4.7 miles to deliver. 4.7 miles to deliver. I need a nap. Got up too early. I mean, I always get up early, but I don't necessarily get out and about so early. It's time. I feel a little tired. I feel some yawns coming on. I got an Uber Eats order going 5.4 miles for $15.47. Let's get it. Thank you. It's the Safeway grocery delivery only. And it was ready. So, took it out, rebagged it in my bag. So, when I got to the home, it was just so much more easier to unload and leave it for the customer. It totaled out to $31.11. Nice. DoorDash coming through with a Chick-fil-A order. $8.75 going 2.5 miles. Okay, DoorDash is serving me today. I got a McDonald's order from DoorDash for $10.25 for five miles. Let's get it. I forgot about the McRib. They ordered a McRib and it smells good. Even though I don't eat meat, some smells still make me want it. <laughs> but mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, I refuse. Whew. Oh boy. I've been trying to stretch my back as I'm going through my day try to loosen it up the ibuprofen definitely helped but whoo hopefully i don't carry this with me hopefully it's not that i can shrug off and i didn't do no real damage just you know just some tight muscles turn left toward us 301 north then turn right onto us 301 north Turn right onto US 301 I could North. use a snack. I know I get 800 ate, feet, make a U-turn at Heritage Green Parkway. I use a snack. Something to snack on. Snack on. Okay. Um, I do. Back at it again. Chick fil A, three miles, seven dollars and seventy five cents.
I was all the way in Brandywine. I got an order from the Brandywine Chick-fil-A going nine miles for $21. Uber Eats going 5.4 miles for Chick fil A, paying $9.03. Thank you. And I already confirmed it. Thank you. Are you picking up? Oh, you're good? I'm picking up. Okay. What's the name? Kathy. Yeah. 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 Looking alive, feeling alive. Ah, Donald Complaints. Donald Complaints. Donald Complaints. I just needed 30 more to get to the 200 and I got it. So I end up getting a Walmart Spark Sam's delivery. It's a two stop delivery and um, it's for 3 p.m. But it's like 2.30 now. So I ordered the pizza and I'm gonna grab that and take it up to the Sam's parking lot and sit on the lot and enjoy it and wait for my order to be ready. And um, then well, I might as well just go ahead and I was going to take a break, but I might as well go ahead and push through and see what I can do because we're trying to get to 300. We'll see. We'll play it by ear. Okay, everything was working out. We were on track to hit $300. We were right there at the $200 threshold. You want but one thing I that so. I didn't pay attention to was the amount of items and where they were going. And of course, they were going to the third floor of an apartment building, 17 items. Now, that's normally not a problem. However, they were Sam's Club items. They were bulky. They were big. They were heavy. Okay, you can't hold me down. Delivery one and two done in the books. Moving on, we got a Uber Eats delivery going 5.8 miles for $21.47 from the mall Popeyes. We get there, they say the order has already been picked up. So contact support and I got the little $3 payout. Then I go pick up a Papa John's order, $7.31, which is not bad, but it's something afoot because I don't feel so well. So I decide to cut the day short and go home. Turns out my pizza betrayed me and I got sick. <laughs> Anywho, didn't hit my $300 mark, but that's okay. I lived to fight another day. Total for Monday, December the 4th is $216.33. Thank you for watching She Gigs It. Please give me a like and subscribe to the channel. See you next Dash Around.